Welcome back guys. So in this particular episode, we're looking at sessions. Now, if you notice in the previous uh, tutorial, we used what is called a session variable. As you've noticed in the login.php uh, file, I put this function called session start. Okay. And then if we go down to our classes in the login class, you notice that I actually gave uh, I actually added a variable, this global variable session, I added a value to it. So what exactly is this session? So now to explain what session does is, if for example, you have, you access a website, let's say in this case, google.com, what will happen is the server at Google is going to register your browser as a user, okay? And then it's going to assign what is called a session to you to this particular browser so that the next time you're using the same browser to access google.com it's still going to know it's you this way you maintain information between pages okay so for example if i logged in on google.com like this and then i browsed to another website let's say facebook now, if I had logged in, in on google.com, when I go back to Google, I don't have to log in again. Google is going to know that it's still me that's browsing the Google website and I've logged in. And how does it do that? It identifies your browser. Okay, so if I load in a new browser in, uh, and try to access Google, I'll have to log in using that new browser. That's because a new session is created. So using session, we can move information between pages of the same website. All right, so now this variable session like this, this is how it's written, the dollar sign, the underscore, and then capital letters session like this, is actually an array of information. So you can put, you can create any location in that array uh, because it's an associative array, meaning that instead of using the numbers zero or one, or two or three uh, to define memory locations, you can actually use words. So in this case, we are using the word user ID like this. So user ID becomes the location. So you can use any word in here, as long as you put it in quotation marks like that. And that will become the mem memory location for whatever you want to save. So any value that you save within session will be available across the entire website. So as long as somebody is accessing your website, any page on your website will have access to this session value. This is why session is a good place to keep information for a logged in user. All right. So let's see exactly how uh, we move inf information from page to page using session. So to do that, let me create some new files here. Uh, we're going to delete these files. These are simply temporary files. So I'm going to create this one and that one. So I'll save this one in our folder and call it file1.php. And then I'll go to this one and save it and say file2.php. So now I have two files and then I'm going to put my PHP tags in here. I'm going to do the same thing, say PHP. Now, the important thing to remember is that at the top of the page or before you use the session, you can do this right before the session. You don't have to do it at the top. You can uh, have some code here and then do session start here. That's still fine for as long as you're going to assign a value below this declaration, okay? So in this case, I'm going to say session start. Now, if you don't write session start like this, your session variable is going to be empty and unusable. So you have to put this before you actually try to access session. So what I would do in this case is I'm going to uh, try and print out what session has because it's an array, remember? So we use print R to see its contents. And then I'm going to use the dollar sign underscore and say session. So I want to see what's inside session. Now this is file1.php. So I'll save this and go here and save that too. So then I'll click and drag in here and drag it to my, that's file1, drag it to my browser. 
all right now an important thing to do is to remember that you need zamp to be running i usually forget that we are all human and we forget so i have to make sure that apache and mysql is running when i'm dealing with databases and or creating websites so once i see the green i'm good to go so and then to make it happen i have to remove this part from htdocs down the line and replace that with localhost so i'm going to do that now localhost so there we go so now as you can see it says it's an array but it's empty because we are accessing this particular page now if i remove session start like this and try to print out it's going to tell me undefined variable session because it doesn't know what session is so you must use session start in order to be able to use the session variable okay so to just tell you what's coming in front is since we have the uh, we have several uh, global variables there's session and then there's post which we have used already and then there is get so we are going to get to this part where we talk about get and then there's also what we call cookie like that all right so all these are global variables available for use we've already seen what post can do post is for getting information from the user same thing with uh, get is kind of similar but we'll see how 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 different it is and then now we're learning about session so just a heads up and now i want to show you how to actually assign uh, a variable assign something to this variable so i'm going to copy this for later use so what i want to do here i'm going to say session i'll, I'll create a memory a memory location sorry i'll put the inverted commas and i'm just going to say test okay is equal to i'll put a sentence this is a test like that open and close inverted commas so what i'm doing is i'm assigning this sentence to this session variable All right so I'll save that and then i'm going to go to file 2 and remember i have to use session start as well in here for me to be able to use the session and then I'm going to do the print R in here and tell it to show me what's inside session. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to file one and saving a variable in here. And then I'm going to go to file two and try to read from the session array to show you that you can move data from one file to another. All right. So let's go back here and let me refresh the page. So since this is file one, in here we are simply setting a value. So let me go to file two and see what happens. So I'm just going to, I'm simply going to edit this part in here in my browser. And there you see array test, this is a test. Now, for as long as this uh, session is valid, this variable will have this value until I change it. So this is a kind of like a permanent value. The session will expire depending on the settings on the server. Now that's usually if, for example, you come back the next day uh, or maybe after an hour of uh, not using the website or something like that, depending on how the settings are set on the website, this will expire eventually. However, it stays true uh, for as long as the person is accessing your website. So we use this uh, to put something like a user ID in here. So I could put a user ID like, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then every time uh, the user accesses my website, like this, let me go back to one, set that value, go to two, and then I have this now. So once the website sees this, it's going to know this is the user ID for the current user. And then it's going to check in the, web, uh, in the database, sorry, to see if that user is available and they need to know they're actually logged in. So this is how we're going to uh, ensure that our user is logged in throughout our website. All right, so now that you understand 
uh, what sessions are, let's go back to our tutorial and actually finish creating our social website.